Pac-Man is one of the most technical characters in Smash Ultimate. He's quite a good character, but in order to play him to his fullest potential, you have to be able to optimize and master his intricate projectile setups. But of course, why would you do that if you can just make Eat Smash instead? Today I'm going to be going over 15 really cool traps and setups with Pac-Man. I made a video like this two years ago, but for Smash 4, so I figure it needs some updating, especially since Pac-Man has a lot of modified and completely new setups in this game. Keep in mind that most of these are flashy mix-up options that aren't optimal at all. If you're in a close tournament set, you should really be going for Bell into Forward Smash instead of hoping for Apple Gun to work, but hey, Twitch clips are Twitch clips. First off, let's start with a simple setup that was also in Smash 4, being the melon back throw. This setup is really simple. Basically, you get melon into your hand, throw it upward, dash grab your opponent, and back throw them into it. While the setup works exactly identical to Smash 4, there are a couple differences. For one, dit kit and jump cancel glide tossing don't work anymore, so you basically just have to dash throw the melon and dash grab after. The other significant change to this setup is that melon got buffed, so that kills at around 130 now. This setup can actually be viable since your opponent is conditioned to shield when you have a fruit in your hand, which you can punish with a grab so it can actually be kind of effective on top of looking cool. Next up is the scoop hydrant. Adman made a detailed video about how this trick works that I'll link in the description, but to sum it up, you want to hit hydrant with an aerial, typically back air or up air, and then up smash it so that it launches really high behind you. The key here is to delay the up smash by a split second so that you can get boosted by the water while launching it. This lets you slide towards your opponent and combo into the hydrant. Most moves work with this, but from what I found, Nair, Fortale, and Trampling work the best for comboing. Wire Boosted Apple is a really fun set that's unofficially known as the Apple Gun between my friends in my region. There are several ways you can do Apple Gun, but all of them have the same effect of launching Hydrant at mock speed across the stage. The easiest way to set this up is by putting down Hydrant, doing a full hop Nair, and then throwing Apple once you land. This launches Apple pretty fast, but if you want to launch Apple even faster, you can Foxtrot to the side, press down B so that you get the empty drop animation, and then B reverse Apple past Hydrant. The setup is a lot more inconsistent, but if you pull it off, the Apple basically becomes a hit scan weapon. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't kill for a while, but this setup is hilarious and 100% worth going for. Alternatively, you can also do something similar with a bell. Essentially, you want to catch Bell, drop Hydrant, and then run off and Z-drop Bell onto the ground. This can actually be a good mix-up since it takes a second for Bell to launch and you can catch some people off guard, but if you really want to be flashy, throw in a taunt cancel. When you taunt, your opponent might be inclined to drop shield and hit you, which is when they get hit by the Bell from across the stage, letting you get a free charge forward smash. Let's mix things up a bit and talk about a ledge trap strategy that actually doesn't require fruit at all. If you're on a stage with platforms and your opponent is off stage, drop trampoline at ledge and start charging a forward smash on the platform. Once your opponent chooses any option from ledge, they'll bounce on trampoline and get launched into the stratosphere. This can cast some people off guard, but there are a few issues with it. First, some characters can roll past the trampoline, but most people probably don't know if their character is able to or not, so this basically doesn't matter. What's more problematic is that your opponent can air dodge out if they react fast enough. Also, Kiwi did this at SmashCon a while ago, which was amazing, but now everyone knows about it, which was unfortunate. Either way though, this trap is absolutely hilarious when it works. This next trick involves Galaxian, but not in the way you expect it to. If you place down Hydrant with Galaxian in hand, and Z-drop it out of a full hop, it will bounce off Hydrant twice, which will break and launch after about a second. Setting this up can let you get some unexpected throw combos into the Hydrant, and can even be used as a ledge trap. But I mean, Galaxian does 40% if you throw it at someone anyway, but this is cool looking, so that's really all that matters. Speaking of really unoptimal ways to use Galaxian, here's another cool combo. Throw Galaxian upward while facing away from your opponent, then dash grab, wait a split second, and then throw them upwards. If you timed it right and get lucky, they'll get launched into the Galaxian and get carried into the upper blast zone. However, as a warning, this is probably the most inconsistent and least reliable trap in this video. This is because there are so many factors that can make this combo not work, like the eye, the space between where you grab and where you throw Galaxian, where you throw the opponent, and what the random Galaxian path will be. If you can pull it off though, then you'll probably be seen as a god in your local community. Here's another cool trap involving trampoline. Essentially, you want to get either melon or apple into your hand, throw it upward, and then immediately trampoline away. If your opponent walks into the trampoline, they'll get bounced into the fruit. This starts working at around 130-ish against most characters and works the best at ledge or to punish a roll. It's unlikely that an actual human being will walk directly into the trampoline, but hey, that's what online mode is for. This setup existed in Smash 4, but works with apple in this game as well, since it's a lot easier to catch now. Next, let's go over a really cool combo that was discovered by Strange, a fellow pack player in my region. Basically, at about 80% with key charged, put down hydrant, dash forwards and grab your opponent, forward throw them, and then be reverse key. If you did it right, the key should fly backwards off the water and combo into your opponent to potentially kill. The setup actually isn't that hard to do, you just have to make sure you run forwards a bit off of hydrant, because otherwise the wire won't bounce key fast enough. 
This combo also works with Melon as a projectile, and on floaties, it can be more effective to set up with down tilt instead of forward throw. Next up is a projectile setup that T was actually able to pull off against Mars at Frostbite. If you launch Hydrant with Apple, it goes really high and travels a bit forwards, letting you combo people into it. This works pretty similarly to the Scoop Hydrant trick, but I think it's a bit more effective since it's easier to pull off and gives you a bigger opening for combos. Forward tilt, Nair, most of your throws, and basically any move that sends people horizontally can combo into the Hydrant. Here's a neat edge guard setup that also existed in Smash 4. The basic setup of this is to throw Melon off stage to force a low recovery, and then drop zone Nair to combo into it. This can be really good for punishing air dodges or predictable recovery angles. If your opponent burns their air dodge trying to get past Melon, you basically have a free Nair on them. This setup is one of the many reasons why Pac-Man is one of the best characters in the game at edge guarding. Now let's talk about a pretty cool combo that you can do with Bell. This one isn't really a trap per se, but it's really flashy and basically guarantees you stream clips. Essentially, if you hit Bell when it drops downward onto the side of your opponent closest to you, run up and instant toss Bell forwards. To do this, jump, press Z to catch Bell, and then move your C stick forward. If you did it right, your opponent should fly forward and get hit by Bell on its way down in the other direction, allowing you to land a power pellet to secure the kill if your timing and spacing is good. This one starts killing at about 80 or so, and I highly recommend practicing it so that you can space the side B at the end properly. Next up is a really sick combo that involves using Hydrant Wire to cancel ending lag. To do this trick, grab your opponent from on top of Hydrant, wait a second, and up throw right before the wire from the top of Hydrant pushes you. Once your up throw ending lag gets cancelled by this, immediately double jump and up air. This is a true combo that kills at about 120% if you time it well, however the caveat is that your opponent has to be tall enough to get hit by the grab from on top of Hydrant. Apart from that though, this this combo looks really cool and is guaranteed to get you cloud in your region if you pull it off. These last two traps I'm going to show you are really strong ledge traps that when pulled off properly cover every single option at ledge. To do the first one, position Hydrant at about roll distance from the ledge. You want to run off back air and throw Apple at Hydrant, recatch Apple with Fair, and Z drop it at about this position. At this point, you've covered all of your opponent's ledge options apart from them simply waiting on ledge. To fix this, go for a ledge trump. This can be a bit difficult to time and is easily the hardest part of the setup, but if you pull it off, your opponent will be launched into Hydrant. The other ledge trap doesn't have any super complex inputs, but it requires very precise spacing. You want to put Hydrant down at about a single Pac-Man away from the ledge, then run off to the stage and turn around throw Melon, which you do by pressing left and then B. Then catch the Melon with an up air and throw Melon up near the ledge. After this, jump and launch Hydrant with one of the first three hits of down air. The Hydrant covers neutral getup, jump, and getup attack, and the Melon will eventually punish them for hanging on ledge. The only thing that's not covered by this trap is ledge roll, which you can cover yourself. If you can master both of these setups, your ledge trapping game will be a lot better and you'll look like a 3000 IQ robot in the process. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Smash Ultimate Pack. Pac-Man videos. I'm really close to 900 subscribers which is crazy so thank you to all the people who have continually supported this channel. I'll have some new videos out soon but let me know if there are any things you want me to make videos on in the comments. Until then, I'll see you all next time.